Hello and welcome back Myth Junkies. This is Mama Mythos here to bring you another hair raising video. Based on the success of our October series, the creepy supernatural creatures are here to stay. This time we are exploring the hellhounds of myth, legend, and even music. Yeah guys, we are diving deep into the bowels of hell and back to bring you the best examples throughout pop culture. Countless movies, TV shows, and video games feature these loyal beings who aren't your typical man's best friend type, more like man's worst nightmare. We've already covered Cerberus in a different video, so if you're looking for him, check out the video on Cerberus in the link above. And of course, if you like this video and you want more, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Let's just keep going and don't look back. The hound is on our trail yet. Hellhounds make their mark on just about every spectrum of creepy and ominous. They're often depicted having mangled black fur, glowing red eyes, super strength and speed, ghostly or phantom characteristics, and a foul odor. Certain European legends state that if someone stares into a hellhound's eyes three times or more, that person will surely die. They are often assigned to guard the entrances to the world of the dead, such as graveyards and burial grounds, or undertake other duties related to the afterlife or the supernatural, such as hunting lost souls or guarding a supernatural treasure. In European legends, seeing a hellhound or hearing it howl may be an omen or even cause death. They are said to be the protectors of the supernatural, guarding the secrecy of supernatural creatures from the world. Hellhounds are also famous for appearing in Northern European mythology and folklore as part of the Wild Hunt, a folklore motif that historically occurs in European folklore. Wild hunts typically involve a ghostly or supernatural group of hunters passing in wild pursuit. The hunters may be either elves or fairies or the dead led by someone similar to Odin or Odin himself, which makes a lot of sense since he had two wolves at his side. Many men both saw and heard a great number of huntsmen hunting. The huntsmen were black, huge and hideous, and rode on black horses and on black he-goats, and their hounds were jet black with eyes like saucers. This was seen in the very deer park of the town of Peterborough, and in all the woods that stretch from that same town to Stamford, and in the night the monks heard them sounding and winding their horns. Robert Johnson's 1937 song, Hellhound on My Trail, is famous for its legend, where apparently Robert sold his soul to the devil to become a famous blues musician. His songs always play homage to this legend, and various tracks have the same theme of being influenced or followed by the devil and his hounds. A rather famous story, The Hound of the Baskervilles, is a Sherlock Holmes novel originally inspired by the story of Squire Richard Cabell a man so evil that it is said upon his death a pack of spectral hellhounds escorted his very soul to the depths of hell to this day the legend states that on the day of his death each year sounds of baying hounds are heard coming from within his tomb even wartime stories are riddled with legends and supernatural occurrences the hound of mons is no exception a fascinating chronicle was published in 1919 by Canadian veteran F.J. Newhouse, describing the story of the gigantic, otherworldly hound that mauled over soldiers in no man's land. Between the fictitious stories of a German professor who supposedly created a monstrous scientific experiment, and the factual reports of stray dogs scavenging the dead bodies of soldiers, it's curious to me how the term devil dog was actually used as a nickname for US Marines by German soldiers. Could this also have been a metaphor? I suppose we'll never really know. My favorite hellhound comes from the Japanese RPG Shadow Hearts. As you may know by now, this game is no stranger to my channel. It holds many fond and haunting memories. Let's continue introducing this bad boy, the boss from Biztris, Europe, Tindalos. The mayor of Biztris transforms into this hellish creature for the sake of defending his love of gold and strange experiments. 
This enemy's name is actually based on a short story called The Hounds of Tindalos by Frank Belknap Long, and later was actually used by H.P. Lovecraft himself. Hounds of Tindalos are creatures that inhabit the distant past and exist outside of known time and dimension. Well, here we are, Myth Junkies, the beginning of the end of yet another video. Don't flee just yet, not without first liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and ringing that notification bell. There's more to come, but I am always taking requests, so don't be shy and be sure to comment below. I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for letting Mama break down the mythos.